There. God damn it! Oh shit. Alright, well, when this one's over, I'm taking some of the money from this vault to pay for a new hat. Shit costs three dollars. You know how much that is in 1940? It's like... a zillion. Hey everybody, welcome back to JoJo Plays L.A. Noir. In the last episode, a lady got murdered. In the episode before that, a lady got murdered. In this episode, I'm assuming a lady gets murdered. Yep, uh, okay. Uh, okay, looking, I'm right, looking like I'm right already. Yep, yep, lady gets murdered. And she's, yep, she's drunk too. So it's just the same as the last three cases, apparently. Freaking A. Uh, I joke about that, but it actually is starting to get a little repetitive. Like, I, I understand this is kind of a issue you you can't avoid running into when you're, um... Yeah, that's right. T talk about how great we are. It's a great, it's a great backdrop for this uh, next episode of L.A. Noir. Yeah, 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 I know the lady got murdered. Like, see, that's the thing. I understand you run into this issue inevitably when you're dealing with a serial killer angle, but the game's not doing a great job of differentiating these cases. It kind of feels like we've done the same thing over and over again ever since we uh, started the homicide desk. We all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Eh, well. Yeah, I mean, I imagine this is probably building up to something. If, it, if this is, like, the exact same as the last three cases, like, we find the body... And, you know, it's naked and covered in weird writing. And, I mean, that should be a pretty good sign that, like, okay, we're definitely... There's definitely something going on. And, yeah, I have noticed it's been raining. That's the first time this entire game that it's actually... It's actually been different weather. How mysterious. It's, get, it's getting night. Maybe, maybe this is... Maybe this is about to build up to something. It's getting all nice and dramatic. For our upcoming showdown. This ought to be good. And I'm already waiting for the dispatch call. It usually happens like right right after I leave the police station, so I imagine <laughs> I imagine we'll be taking a detour right before I get to this crime scene. Second now. Oh, maybe not. It's because it's raining? I don't know. Yeah, I guess not, okay. Yeah, no, it's... Jeez, and the music's all intense? What the... Why was I... Wait. Hang on. It's... it's get... Okay, I noticed it slowed down, like... What's going on here? What if I follow this car? Yeah, see, I don't know what's... <laughs> this is weird. Like, the game slowed down as soon as I, uh... As soon as this car came up. And it pulled out. I guess the game wants me to follow it. Oh, it's just another... Okay. It's just another police car. I thought this was, like, some suspicious person and we were trailing them. That was weird. I, I think I completely misunderstood the game's intentions with that one. Keep me informed. Will do, detective. No, no, that was a cop. I was supposed to follow them. It's all fine. I think that's the impression the boys from the examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Eh, Much granted. trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Oh, boy. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m., but it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. I learned from Dangan Rumpa that uh, temperature can really fuck with the coroner's report. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Huh. Any sign of her other shoe? No. Oh, yeah, her foot's just hanging out. Or other I know effects. some people on DeviantArt who are going to be very excited about that. Alright, let's take a look at this body. Yeah, like, 
Cole said it best. At least she still has her fucking clothes on. Like, my god. Seriously, if you're really going to kill someone, just leave the body alone, please. Okay, we got a laundry tag. That's probably helpful. Or, at the very least, if you can't even do that much, at least be like Zaz and pose the body all cool afterwards. Like, that was fun. <laughs> Speaking of Zaz, I, uh... Like, that's one of the funniest things about it. Like, this is gonna be the most random reference ever. But that's one of the funniest things about, uh... Oh, hey, no ring this time. Interesting. But yeah, that was one of the funniest things about, uh, the Scribblenauts DC Heroes game. Is that one of the first villains, like, if not the very first villains you encounter the game, like, during the tutorial segment, is fucking Zaz. Like, the bat- like, the- straight up the Batman villain. And I'm like, that is so fu Like, I don't even know what to make of that, you know? Uh, oh, footprints. It's footprints that are- foot hang on. Footprints that are hovering off of the ground. Hang on, can we, can we get another look at that? Oh, that's... Oof. Oh, that's amazing. But yeah, like I was saying, like, it's just, this fucking family-friendly cartoonish game that's obviously aimed at kids, and the first villain you encounter in the game is the serial killer who, who carves his murder tally into his own flesh. Like, what the fuck? Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same. Yeah, perfectly kid-friendly Batman villains to work with, if you really must, like Condiment King and Shark Man. And yes, those are all real. Alright. Killer made off in a hurry. Alright, so we don't seem to have a lot to work with. We got a laundry tag, we got footprints, and we got the uh, tire tracks. Yeah, I, ma I imagine the rain fucked with the crime scene quite a bit. Alright. I guess that's it. All that's left to do is just call R and I, and then possibly. What the hell? Okay. Four cops driving up. Oh wait! Oh no! It's not police at all. Well, actually, it is. But. Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. It's <laughs> Detective Phelps. Oh, well, you just brought her right to the crime scene, huh? Catherine Barton, I live just across the way. <laughs> Check out the dead. <laughs> hey, hey, lady, you came just in time. Check out what, like, well, check out what Officer Gonzalez can do with this dead body. And he starts, and he starts like puppeteering it like it's a fucking muppet. Ah, uh, that'd be amazing. Suspicious person. Did persons. you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Awful hobo. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt, horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. What? <laughs> okay. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. Alright. Now shove her face into this dead body's butt. Do it now. Hang on, wait. Get back here. No! No, damn it! No! Get back here! I must- I have to traumatize someone! <laughs> I'm fucking staring at dead bodies this entire game. All with their clothes off. I want to share the pain a little bit. You guys have anything to say? Not now, Phelps. Hey, okay, jeez. Somebody's in a bad mood. Wonder if it has anything to do with the deadness around here. All right. Phelps badge twelve forty-seven. I imagine we're going to be getting an address on that laundry place. How can I help, detective? I need an address on yep. Superior Laundry Services. Just a moment. Superior Laundry Services, 1260 West 1st Street. 
Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity? Oh, we're going to check on that, too. Just a moment, detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks for your help. Fucking hobo camps and leaders. Like, <laughs> like they're an underground rebellion. They're going to strike up against the Empire and their X-Wings. Their hobo wings, if you will. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> oh man. You've got to be kidding. We're driving this? <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. We're, not, we're not actually going to drive this. Don't worry. Don't worry, Rusty. I just wanted to see if they would let me get in. Oh, man. I can totally just steal the coroner's car. That's fucking amazing. Not going to lie, I was considering it because I have no idea where my car is right now. Uh. God damn it, Phelps. Where the hell did you park? Oh, here we go. Alright. Get in. It just... Rusty can get in from the other side. It... No, he can't. Okay, never mind. Turns out I was the moron. Alright, let's go to the laundry services first. As always, I want to have as much evidence as possible before we go to confront the suspect. Serial killer ankle still looking good, but it is no interesting message. that this one still has Excuse his clothes me? on. No message. Where? On the vip. The last body had something written on it. This one didn't. I'm failing to follow it. Can't be the same guy as what I'm saying, right? Before you start trying to link this to Maldonado. Yeah, I knew I knew I knew that was exactly what Rusty was gonna start with. Rusty. This doesn't fit your pattern, Cole. End of conversation. Understand? Okay, like, Rusty, I understand what you're saying. This is a pretty significant difference, but at the same time, I didn't even bring up the fucking Black Dahlia cases, okay? So why don't you calm your butt? Oh, yep, there it is. Alright, Casely Dispatch call. Let's do this. I'm on my way. God damn it. Oh, wait. I accidentally... I can't help but notice that guy isn't moving. Go ahead. Um, okay. Okay, he's fine. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I was going to have to add to the civilian kill count again. It, 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 fucking goddamn it. Can we at least, can we at least keep the collateral damage below double digits? Is that too much to ask? Oh. Looks like we got ourselves a gold fashioned bank robbery. Situation. Half a dozen shooters, sir. Cold blooded sons of bitches. Real professionals. What do you mean? Witnesses say they bounced in, aced the guards, and went straight down the stairs. They're all wearing clown masks. They seem to be killing each other off so that so that there's less shares of the bounty. If the if the fucking Joker actually showed up in this game, oh my god. Like this game would be a, this game would immediately shoot up to being a perfect ten so fast. All right, get right up in your face. It's just, I'm right here, bro. <laughs> yeah, shoot you in the nuts. Although that guy had a shotgun, I got pretty. Oh god, that's right. God, I, I like. Oh. Okay, yeah. I was about to say I just remembered that like in the beginning of the game they mentioned that I can. Uh, Open up the trunk of the police car and uh, get a shotgun out of there. I completely forgot about that. I've just been using the pistol this whole time. Okay. Gotcha. One of these motherfuckers have an automatic weapon? God damn it. Uh, fucking Tommy guns. For some reason, I forgot Tommy guns were a thing. I, I was thinking this was like the 1700s and people had only muskets for some reason. Alright. Still going? Oh, yeah, that's right. I said something went downstairs. Oh, yeah! This is more like it. They blocked the goddamn stairs. Detective, take the elevator. Okay. Alright, I'll wait here. It's, really? Why? Give them a chance to regroup. Good luck. I have an easier time. 
God damn it, of course. Okay, my partner's just leaving me high and dry. That's great. Okay. Fine. I'm no, I'm no stranger to killing a bunch of dudes by myself. I played the odd FPS. I can figure this out. Really? You're gonna give me this shit? You think it might have to do with the people shooting at me? I saw you back there. God damn it! Oh shit. Alright, when this one's over, I'm taking some of the money from this vault to pay for a new hat. It should cost three dollars. You know how much that is in 1940? It's like... a zillion. You and me, you can live to tell the tale. Uh, that's another thing. It would be nice to be, since this is, you know, all about being a policeman, you know, you know, police procedure, all that stuff. It would be nice if there was actually an option to make these dudes actually give up. I mean, in this case, it's fine, actually, because these guys seem pretty fucking determined. Pretty set in their ways, but... Oh, well. oh god damn it! What a fuck of a time to reload. That's all of them. Alright. Takes care of that. Okay. That was, that was pretty elaborate compared to the other ones we've done so far. Very nice. You can't give up now. Try again, kid. One more time. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One.